How much exactly does a hand-built fishing boat cost to buy in the Philippines? Let's find out. Today we are at Efren Boat Works down in Dumaguete. Here the fellows are working away. There they are. Welcome to my job. So this is a nice project you have. And how long is this boat? 19. 19 by, I think it was 20, 28 yeah. centimeters wide. Oh. Okay. And it has an 18 horse power. power. Somo, 18, 18 horse power. Somo. Yeah. And it's a direct drive. It looks like there's no clutch in between the shaft and the outboard shaft when they have it going. Cool. So this is interesting how they have this little handle carved into the back. It almost reminds me of like a Norse, a Norse boat. So what kind of wood do you use in this boat? The wood, ply, yeah. the plywood, yeah. Santa Clara. Okay. Oh, Santa Clara. So it's a marine grade plywood? Yeah. Okay. Santa Clara Marine. This is a mahogany. It is mahogany. Yeah. Uh, and this boat you said would last about 10 years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And oh. how long will this take you to build? One month. One month. Wow, that's very fast. So let's have a look at some of his tools. So he's got like a little sandpaper wheel here. Almost looks like a cutoff wheel, but it, it's just a sanding disc, flap disc, I guess you would call it. He's got a little hand chisel. A couple other little hand chisels. All very simple tools. Very simple sander. Nothing too complicated, you guys. Is that for chiseling the dumbbell? Do you hammer on that with the dumbbell? Yeah. Okay. How many kilos is the boat? What? Wow. 50 kilos? 50? What's 50 kilos? You got that? About 80 kilos. Okay. So how old is this boat? How many years old? 18 years. Really? Yeah. Wow. And how many more years will it work? Another 10? Can you get 10 more? All right, so it looks like they're replacing this top part here. Put a little bit of Bondo in here to seal it up. I'm not sure if it's Bondo or if it's actually uh, epoxy. Is that Bondo or epoxy? Epoxy. Oh, it is epoxy, okay. Yeah. All right, you see there's simple living here. They're just little hammocks to crash out on. Simple fishing village, you guys. So has your family always been in, into fishing, your whole family? Yeah. Uh, and you decided to do that also instead of something else? Yeah. You like it's the good to uh, make a boat. Uh huh. Yeah, and fishing. So, what do you like better, fishing or boat making? Uh, fishing. Ah. Yeah. Is the fishing still good out here? Yeah. It is. If you uh, make a boat or something. Hard. Ah. It's hard to make a new like that. Okay. Or uh, you know, fishing is so uh, simple only.
So to make a waterproof, you have to fill all those little pinholes. Put the water. Ah, really? Oh. Oh, oh I see. Oh. Interesting. That's how it gets its real smooth. He has less sanding in it. Oh. A lot less sanding if he smooths it out now. Just kind of melts everything in there. That's a great idea. Huh. I didn't know you could use water on epoxy. I learned something today. Thank you. Huh. Does it dry faster after it's been wet or no? No. Same? Okay. I was wondering how he got this so smooth here. I thought maybe you sanded that, but you just oh. got it wet and wiped it. Okay. Now I get it. I learned something today. That's good. So you can put epoxy right on top and it will still stick okay? No problem? Okay. Sometimes if you put uh, something on a shiny surface, the adhesion will be bad, but I guess the adhesion with the epoxy must be so good that it will stick to itself without flaking off or being an issue later. I mean, wet it, it'll probably melt it in a little bit better too. Oh, that's interesting. Like this, I will, I will get us some paper. Okay. Uh, just a little, okay, just lightly, lightly hit it. Now, will you do all of the boat like this, inside and outside? Oh, yeah. Ah, okay. All of them. Ah. And how many cans of epoxy to do one boat? How many cans? I think one gallon. Oh, a gallon, okay. Uh, okay. Gallon. That's pretty good. If you do it all in a gallon, that's really good. Water. Okay. Now, do you use fresh water or salt water? Fresh. Fresh, okay. I didn't know that you could uh, wet, wet epoxy for one thing, and then I didn't know that it would have the same kind of a working time being wet that it would if it were dry with no water. And you do the same to the top edges? Yeah. You'll epoxy these? Okay. Ah, I see. Okay. Just like uh, making a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Are you good with with uh, putting the mayonnaise on the bread? Oh. <laughs> it reminds me of making a sandwich. Yeah. Now, if you get epoxy on your hands, does it wash right off? It will wash off. Yeah. Okay. Because bondo, not so easy. If you get that on your hands, it doesn't come off for a while, <laughs> right? You have to wear it off. I, I do uh, auto auto body for 25 years, and my hands were always dirty, always dirty. Paint, bondo. This week, I'll finish them, finish this. You'll finish it this week? Yeah. So that's very fast. Mm -hmm. And how much paint will it take to paint this? A gallon, two gallons? Oh, two gallons. Two gallons? Oh. And what kind of paint works good with this wood? Do you use... Uh, what? Enamel or what? No, pergliss. Oh, pergliss. Epoxy paint. Yeah, epoxy paint. Ah, yeah. Okay. Same. Pergliss, epoxy paint. So all epoxy all the way. That's yeah. good. Oh. That's really good. So everything will stick together and be the same. Similar materials. That's very good. I like that. Do you need to prime? Use a primer on the. You use, put the primer. You do put a primer. Okay. Yeah. So when I paint a car, we use epoxy primer. Then we use epoxy sealer, then we can paint on top of, on top of that. Oh. Yeah. If a person is poor, it's usually because they have no skills. But if we can get skills, we can make a good living. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm glad that you can teach other people your skill, your, your craft, and they can provide for their family oh. and, and make an honest living. So I, I, from one craftsman to another, thank oh. you for that. Thank you for that. So I still have to teach somebody what I know to, to make that pay forward, to teach. Mm -hmm. So my knowledge that I know doing cars won't get lost. Mm -hmm. I still need to do that. But someday, someday. Ah, oh, that's your baby, huh? <laughs> and you've had it a long time. Yeah, ah. 15, years, 15 years. Wow, and it's provided for your family so you could make a living? Very good. Now, do you just go out? Okay. Do you go out alone or do you go with somebody else when you fish? Somebody else. Okay. Is that normal to have a partner when you fish? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's maybe safer.
Are there any sharks out here? No. No? No, no shark? <laughs> no baby shark. <laughs> uh, how about tuna? Are there any tuna? tuna? There are some tuna here. Yeah. Oh wow. Any any size or small? Small size. Okay. Small size. Okay. What's the biggest fish that you've caught? How many kilo? 300 kilos. Oh my gosh, really? Uh, one kuya, one kuya. Sword fish. One. A swordfish. A yeah, swordfish. Yeah, swordfish. Blue Marlin, Blue Marlin, Blue Marlin, Blue Marlin. Wow, Blue Marlin, Blue Marlin. Wow, that's a big fish, right out of here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Maybe in five meters. Really? Yeah. Wow. What's that? Mom's. What's that? Mom's. Trabali. Okay. Yeah, yeah, giant trabali. He 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 has fish. He hit the treble hook. Yeah. Then we go in. Fishing, fish, okay. fish net, ah. and uh, inside the fish net, like that. Nice. We got there. Okay. It's uh, maybe 300 plus. Wow. It's a big. How long did that take to get it on the boat? How long? Uh, maybe in one hour. Oh, wow. One it's hour. a nice fighting fish. Yeah. Uh, that's exciting. So big. That is big. Wow. Yeah. That, that'll feed a family for a little while. That's great. Wow. The price is very cheap. Is 90 it? pesos. Per kilo. Oh, you're kidding. Because the fish dealer is, he said, she said that this size is uh, not a uh, regular size. Right. Yeah. So, so it wasn't we, as, as desirable? It's so very cheap. Oh boy, that's too bad. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, but that was a lifetime catch, right? Yeah. Wow. Like that. That's incredible. I would have been loved to see that. That would have been cool to see. I bet you were the talk of the village for a while when you brought that big fish home, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, he's got some fish over here. Let's see what they have. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. You go, you go, that's a big you stick. So that's, that's a Atsi? Mm. Ah. Very yummy. Very yummy. And how much does that go per kilo? How much now? 300. 300 per 300 kilo. 300 per kilo. Uh, Blue Marlin, okay. Achi. Ah. White, white meat. White meat. Uh, white Marlin, uh, okay. 300 per kilo. Okay. Yeah, 300 per kilo. They got a little wash table here for prepping. Like a uh, uh, octopus? Or uh, white, like a uh, squid, big squid. Big squid. Oh, big uh, squid. Uh, squid. Head. Only head. Head. Oh. Head. Like that. Wow, look at that. That thing's huge. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is a monster. Yeah. And that coming from here? Yeah, from here. Oh wow. That's great. The the body to export the body is this. Okay. And what are the small fish? What are these called? Uh new. This is new new. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and what do they use those for? Do they just grill it and eat it just uh, with the, the rice or how do they how do they prep that? To, uh, okay. We got the paxiu, uh, fried. It's good also. Okay. Or soup, mix soup. Ah, soup. Yeah. So fish soup. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And this, this here, this is just just regular tuna. Uh, yeah, regular tuna we cut because the other customer can. Uh, are they? Um, can't take it all? Yeah, you take ah. out because big, okay. like five kilos, ah, okay. six, seven, like that. Right. Uh, okay. uh, they can't afford only two, oh, three kilos. Like sure. One. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Kilos. Okay, that makes we sense. We cut that because the other customer buy half kilo. So you usually have a freezer here with fish freezer, for yeah, people yeah. to come by. Yeah. Okay, so that's because good to so know, that, you guys. So that the fish can fresh. That's great. Just outside of Dumaguete, there's this little pier. This is where I'm at. You'll see the pier. It's going out. And then just below the pier is where these guys are at. Come down here, they've got their freezers, and this is where they have the fresh fish. If you guys need some fish or squid, give these guys a little bit of business. Just look for their, their prep table here, stainless steel prep table. And then just down here is where they build the boats. Just kind of all in the same area. So where I grew up, this would be considered almost a canoe because it's so narrow. It's it's not very wide. It's almost the same width of an old style canoe.
we don't have electricity electricity here because we use a generator we use. Oh, we don't have a electric. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Why? Because no one can sign our papers for the for filing the electric because of the politics. Politics. Really? Yeah. So. So the community just, they let the community live here, but they don't let them have the electric. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, like wow. Electric, but we signed so many years. Wow. While we can get the papers for connecting the electricity. Okay. No one can, like, concejal or mayor. Wow. Or bar barangay captain, concejal, like that. We can get the... Papers. And they just won't hook it up. No. Oh my gosh. Signing. Wow. Because of the okay. Politics. That's frustrating. Yeah, yeah. That's frustrating. So frustrating. That is, because I know how much more work it is with by hand. Yeah, yeah, by hand. Mm. Got, uh, right. Cleaner. It'd be fast yeah, with fast. plug in to two twenty, right? Very fast. Generator noisy. <laughs> right, it is noisy. Yeah. 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 That's Talking, unfortunate. Uh, you guys are doing good. You guys are doing good with what you have, so. Little doggies. Hi, doggies. Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, you guys are cute, huh? Oh, yes, real cute. Yes. How old were you when you made your first boat? What age? 20, I think 25. 25? Yeah. Ah. Was it a good boat or was it not so good? How how was it? Looking back now, was, when you when you think about your first boat, was it good or or not so good? Your first boat? Uh, maybe not so good. <laughs> this is the first time. Right, right. But you did it though, right? Yeah. And that's the important thing. You went forward and made it. Uh, good for you. We all start at the bottom, right? Yeah. And we work our way higher. We we climb. We climb as we get older. Make so many boats now. Yeah. I think. 60. Nice. 60, 60 boats. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, big and small. Oh. oh. I'm like hitting my head here. I'm like, oh, it's so low. How can they made it just a little, f one foot higher? <laughs> uh, I give my hard time. Cool. Well, I like to see their stuff. I like that uh, that you're you're a craftsman and that. Uh, you survive with your hands and you're able to do the best you can with what you have and I appreciate that I do because I I worked with my hands for 25 years yeah, so I 25 years yeah oh. so I know what that's like and one craftsman to another these look really good you guys so if you get a chance you need a little boat uh, this one here is about 30,000 pesos and it takes them about a month to build so if you know somebody needs a little boat want to change their life and they want to fish there you go. Come see these guys.